Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the noise, floors, floor. Okay, so the floor of the noise. That's what we're going to really be interested in. It's kind of interesting it's called a floor, but I understand why that is. More down here, and then you have all your other stuff up here. You have your lows, mids, and highs, but noise is kind of that underlying baseline that you work from and you add everything on top of it and hopefully cover up the noise. That's what's going on here. We take a different approach. We like to get the noise as low as we can. That leaves more room for these. Okay? So noise is sound leaving or entering the room. We all know what that is. We've all experienced it. It's funny, uh, in my new studio here, the garbage truck goes down the main road every morning. Well, twice a week, early, 5 a.m and sets off every motion sensor in, in, in the car. So it's boom, 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 boom. You'll have six or seven going off at once. I don't know if they do it on purpose, but it's kind of funny to hear. And you can almost tell which car, you know, by the, the tone of the alarm. It's, I'm up, doesn't bother me, but boy, I bet it bothers a lot of other people. So, but it continues to go on, so it must not have too much nuisance value. Noise it has a rate and a level. Okay, has frequency, has strength. We have to know that, okay? Noise is room distortion. We don't want it. I know we're also used to living with it today, and these high noise levels, way higher than when I was younger. I mean, I, I take a pressure meter with me all the time on my phone and just measure where I'm at. And restaurants, 75, 80, yikes. You know, I used to be in restaurants 20, 30 years ago. I've even measured someone I was in college that were like 40, 45, 50. Average voice, 60, 65, talking. You know, it's a lot of, uh, I'll get a pressure meter in here and we'll, we'll do some messing around with it one day and do a video about it. But just like with amplifiers, we want really low distortion, especially that THD, that total harmonic distortion. We don't want any distortion in our harmonics, right? Total harmonic distortion, yikes. That's a term that's a little freaky sounded. Harmonic distortion, we don't want any of that, okay? We don't want it in our rooms. We don't want it in our electronics, for sure. So we want to lower the noise floor in our room, like lowering the water level in our glass, because we're sitting at the bottom of the glass. So we want to lower that water level. The water level is going to be the noise floor. We like to target 30 to 35 dB SPL in our rooms. Get them as quiet as we can. Most rooms are 50, 55. Standard, you know, wood frame, drywall construction, noisy areas, 50, 55 right in there. Well, huge difference between 30, 35, probably three, 400%. You wouldn't believe what 5 dB difference makes in noise. You hear so much more. Our electronics today are so good. Even our speakers, which is always the weakest link in the chain, have come a long way. They're not there yet, but they're getting there, okay? I think the subwoofer guys are a little bit ahead of the deal. I watched uh, REL's uh, some videos the other day. I think John is the designer's name. and uh, They put a lot of emphasis into it. And a lot of the things he say, we do the same thing in acoustics, just a little bit larger scale, okay? Sound quality, doing a lot of little things correctly, but more importantly, in the correct order, because it's like steps. Every step builds on the step before. If you skip steps, try to go from here to there, this part is like a harmonic. It'll come back to haunt you, maybe at this step here. You know, maybe it'll come in here and do some decreasing here. You got to do it right. You got to do it right. Every time, you got to follow a pattern and a sequence. What do we get when we lower the noise floor? More detail, more resolution, more separation, more darkness, air, space between the notes. Just more of everything we like. Less of all the things in the room we don't like. Okay? So noise floor is, part, is room distortion, and our goal is to... Uh, Get as much noise attenuated as we can. And we, of course, we know that that takes barrier technology. And we've done many videos on that you can research. Noise floors floor. Hope this helps. Thank you. 
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis so that'll help you. Thank you.